Hi, I am Claire Marhouse, and I'm a community planning development specialist in the Office of Community Planning Development at HUD. I'm here with you today to learn about the new mapping tool for pro housing that allows you to search for priority geographies. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my camera as we navigate through the tool. You can access the tool by visiting HUD's pro housing webpage that I'm at now. Let's scroll down to find the tool. You can go ahead and press OK. The tool is housed within HUD's geospatial data storefront, managed by HUD's Office of Policy Development and Research. To learn more about the tool, you can go ahead and click View Details. Scroll down, click Read More. So this page will give you a brief overview of the Pro Housing competition and what we mean by a priority geography. Pro Housing applications will be awarded 10 points if their application primarily serves a priority geography under the need rating category. Remember that a priority geography is about the location being served and does not mean what type of applicant you are. Eligible applicants are described in the Notice of Funding Opportunity, or NOFO, in our state governments, county governments, city or township governments, metropolitan planning organizations, and multi-jurisdictional entities. Let's get back to the mapping tool by clicking View Application. So now that we're back at the application, we're going to select the I button right here, which is very important if you want to view the application in full screen. Now you can see the splash page. This page will appear when you open the application, and it gives you a little bit more information on HUD, priority geographies, and the background about the pro housing competition. Once you've read through it, you can go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and X out of this. So when you view the, open the application after the splash, you're gonna go ahead and see that you have on the left side, a about widget and on the right side, or on the left side and about widget and on the right side, a legend widget. The legend widget shows for place and county, um, priority geography shading, green and purple. And then on the left side, you have the about widget which talks you through how to use the application. Priority geographies can be labeled as a place or county and are shown in this tool according to the geographic level as defined by the census. In order to use the tool, you're going to use this, this search bar at the top of the page to search for the location your application is serving. The about widget also is gonna tell you about all the other features of the tool. So you have the base map widget here which we'll talk about a little bit later, as well as the layers widget, which allows you to toggle on and off the place and county layers, and the legend widget, which of course, as we already discussed, tells you for places, what is a priority geography and what is not. So if a place is shaded green, it is a priority geography, and if the county is shaded purple, it is also a priority geography. The About widget also refers you to resources, such as the Pro Housing page, which we already were at when we first started this demo, the Fiscal Year 23 Pro Housing NOFO FAQ, which teaches you and how to learn more about priority geographies and how they are calculated, and the underlying data that drives this application, as well as the U.S. Census definitions of county and place. Keep in mind that priority geography threshold calculations are done at the county and place level and applied respectively to county and place applicants. So now that we've established the tools features, let's go ahead and do some searching. The first place we're gonna search for is New York City. So you can go in and it's gonna give you a few different options, but we're gonna go with New York City, because that's the most precise. 
and the tool will automatically zoom to that location that you search for. So as you can see, you're seeing a lot of green and purple. Let's go ahead and click on New York City. So as you can see, when you expand the pop-up, New York City is confirmed to be a priority geography. One equals a priority geography and zero is not a priority geography. For the county, one at, for the county, it is also a priority geography. So for New York City, they would receive the 10 points under the need rating factor. Now we're gonna go ahead and search for Alexandria City, Virginia. As you can see, Alexandria City is shaded purple. This is because the city is not a priority geography, but the county is. We can confirm, but we can confirm this by selecting the layer and opening up the pop-up. Take a look. So the county is a priority geography, but the city is not. So what does this mean in terms of your application? So remember we said earlier that if, a location, if the location your application is serving is shaded for either the place or county layer, it is a priority geography. So because the application is serving this location, Alexandria City would receive 10 points under the need rating factor. Let's go look at an example for a county that is a priority, but a city that is not when the boundaries don't perfectly align like in Alexandria. All right, so as you can see, Cleveland is shaded purple. Let's expand the pop-up. So Cleveland City is not a priority geography status, but Cuyahoga County is. So even though the city of Cleveland and Cuyahoga County have different boundaries, Cleveland City, if the, if the application is serving that location, would still receive the 10 points under the need rating factor because the application is serving Cuyahoga, Cuyahoga County as well. Lastly, let's navigate to Austin, Texas to check out how we can use the base map budget. So say I was crafting my application and I wanted to ground myself in the area of Austin. I can go ahead and I can switch off the place and county layers And say I want to look at the satellite imagery for Austin. You can go ahead and turn on the satellite imagery and navigate around to places that are familiar to you. Then you can go back and toggle the place and county layers on. And that's it. Thank you for watching this demo. And if you have any questions about this tool or pro housing, interested applicants may submit questions on the NOFO to the following email address, cdbg-prohousing at hub.gov. Thank you.